Tommy? Thomas Angelo, Detective Norman. You alone? <laughs> no self-respect and badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just a coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, you yeah. said on the phone you might have a proposition for me. That's right. Well, if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Well, that's yours. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up. Yeah, I might have some. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money? Some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. I always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. <laughs> Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is you got someone powerful mean on your tail and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. What? Yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. Chris, I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts. When I first met Polly and Sam. Something from the dawn or not?
compensation for your services, any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Salieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. <sighs> One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asked where you got that money? You wanted it poker. The scratches on your car? You swerved. To keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? No, of course. See you around, kid. When I opened the envelope, I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. Money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. How you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Huh? Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go helping Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much rocking for a while, eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. Look at this. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou. You got business with the Don? Nah, we're just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. What well, is he is the Don's favorite driver? So anything you gotta say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal, we ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay, then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. <laughs> Thanks. Least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Salieri? Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this. You, son. Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. You're gonna ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. I'm going to Vincenzo. Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's gonna sing. <laughs> Who's this, then? Minnie. This here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right. Good, good. Hey. You just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> oh! Hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. Hey, genius! <laughs> Get your head out of your ass! <laughs> what the fuck, dear Papali? You can't, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sh 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 show up, Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across the, the, the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> one day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah, but he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morello... He's a hothead, and all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands, make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you, but you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. 
A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And they don't keep Frank on the payroll because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter Sarah, Maron. Take a seat. It's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive? Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do? And everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And in the afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Salieri, from here on out, this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sam. They're trying to beat information out. I gotta get you to a doctor. Ah, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. Sam. Oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. Come on. You'd be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. So that's how a regular Palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy, he scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? 
Ja. Beste Gang. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You're driving with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Tom, Tom Morello, I, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grills look bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin I can... Spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Or maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We are running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. It should be no problem, boss. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Gotta send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is, then look someplace else while you t-t-t-turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sure. 
Then then there's this other guy, the Lucas Berton. You take the car to him down under the Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then the next guy, he's an ass. You're here. Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Okay, she's done. Thanks, Lucas. I gotta get back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri. I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Celieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay, drive careful. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's gonna hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, this crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment. Oh. Sure, Frank. You've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. Sent him to the hospital. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom. I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win, but more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. From Europe, we got the hot shot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost Heaven local favorite, Mikey Dunn, is out. Replacing him is, uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start. Tommy, there's <laughs> our winner. Hey, Tom, just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure, thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. And Morello's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. 
Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my mom a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> There. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. Yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe. Cow says moo, and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect! Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home, too, before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay, then. I guess. Let's go, Jim. <laughs>